Hey guys, Sandy Son here. I'm out in the middle of pretty much nowhere, just shooting a vlog. Figure, you know, a nice little change of pace, get out of the house, do something on uh, 4th of July. <laughs> Since uh, nobody's around, um, Ariopolis went home for the weekend, and uh, I don't really have enough gas money to uh, go back, you know, visit the folks. I'm up here for the weekend. Fun, fun. And uh, so I decided to go on like an epic bike ride. Pretty sure I'm at least 25 to 30 miles away. At least it feels that way. I won't know until I come back home and uh, check it up on Google. But right now I'm uh, I'm up at a uh, looks like a cable satellite thing. Check it out. <sighs> yeah, that sign right there. It says no vehicles or large metal objects beyond this point. So. I'm just gonna steer clear and uh, stay right where I am. I just wanted to come out here and see what the hell this thing was. It looked pretty cool from the highway, so I'm like, let's go visit it, see what it is. And it's basically a cable satellite thing. I wanted to uh, go by the uh, windmills, but I must have took a wrong turn or something, so... Eh. This isn't so bad. Certainly has been a lot of dead people in the news, especially Michael Jackson. He's His death was, you know, a really big shock to everybody, and... Even a week or so after his death, people are, you know, still talking about not only, you know, how he died, what did he die from, but also custody of his children, family controversy, you know, them raiding his house or whatever, and I think that's going to, you know, keep on going on for uh, probably for months, if not years, just because, you know, it's Michael Jackson, and there's a lot of stuff involved with him. Oh yeah, I bought a, uh, a guitar book from Guitar Center the other day. It was on Thursday. It has basically every scale, chord, and uh, some arpeggios in every key possible. So I figured, you know, now as good as time as any to, you know, really brush up on my uh, guitar skills. Maybe not suck so much. <laughs> I'm also looking at buying a new guitar, obviously. I was looking into actually creating my own guitar, but that's pretty darn costly. I'll probably do it later on, but I just don't really have the money for it, so I'm gonna just buy myself a, uh, a Paul Reed Smith. Nice PRS. I tried one out at Guitar Center uh, when I went to buy the book. It was a uh, an SE Custom 22, just a stop tail piece, no tremolo, and uh, it was just awesome. I mean, I didn't really like, you know, the whole thing behind PRS just because I thought it was kind of a, an elitist, like a snobby boutique kind of guitar. Even though it's, you know, endorsed by some really rad players, you know, namely Carlos Santana, Al Di Miola, um, Mark Tremonti, uh, that dude from Cradle of Filth, I think, Paul, Paul, Paul Allender, if I can pronounce his name right. Oh, what's his name from? Uh, Brad, Brad from Lincoln Park, he has... A PRS and there's you know several others but I didn't really think it was for me just because it's more of like a custom like super boutique like it had that old like elitist like snobby attitude behind it just because you know it's PRS but after you know the moment I actually you know felt the guitar it was all that was just gone it's not you know a snobby guitar or anything like that it's a really awesome guitar for everybody I mean you can get the uh, 3,000, you know, two to 3,000 plus super duper custom model with all the bells, whistles, and fixins, you know, or you do like, you know, what I want to do and get like a 500 to $600 import model, the SE, which uh, is definitely what I'm going to be saving up for after I get the PV Viper. Yeah, I'm going to be saving up for the Viper first and then getting the PRS, which at this rate, you know, me making tips, it won't be too much longer. Basically, I'm gonna save up for a PV Viper. It's gonna be at least the uh, the 70 watt version. I'm gonna try to get something higher, maybe get like a good deal on eBay, who knows. Um, but it's gotta be at least a 70 watt, 75 watt version. So that way uh, I have enough power at gigs to where people can, you know, hear, hear me playing, whether they like it or not. After I get that, which, uh, you know, it's going to be at least 300. Uh, I think the most I'd pay for a Viper would be probably around four to, 400 to 450. So that'd probably net me the uh, the 100 watt version, the 100 watt uh, solid state version. Pardon me, with uh, <clears throat> two 12 inch speakers, which is kind of what I'm shooting for ideally. But you know, money wise, I'd be willing to settle for the 70 watt, 75 watt version. So after I get that all settled, I'm um, going to be saving up for a PRS SE Custom 24, 24, in whale blue. 
like I said, I love the uh, SE Custom 22 in a, what was it, the Cherry Burst? Yeah, Cherry Burst. But I kind of want something, you know, with 24 frets, because I never really had a guitar with 24 frets before. And it also, all the 24s come standard with the tremolo system, which, you know, it's pretty good for a uh, non-locking tremolo system. As far as uh, new projects, um, I'm looking into possibly some new singing videos. I know you guys didn't really like the other ones. I've got a lot of, a lot of nasty comments, but... Uh, the reason my voice was so bad in those is because I pretty much sang consistently. It was like one song, one song, one song, one song, one song. It wasn't like a one song, you know, stop for a couple hours and another song. Except for the uh, the last two. I went out to uh, Dairy Queen to get some ice cream, which would probably explain why those suck even more. <laughs> but, I mean, despite my... Uh, not that good of a knack for singing, according to popular opinion. I do enjoy it. I'm looking to, uh, you know, start up a band here in Bowling Green. I already got a, uh, a drummer lined up, looking to get a, uh, an awesome, awesome guitar player lined up. He's currently in another band. I don't really know how serious he is about it. I don't know if he's, you know, really serious or if he's looking for, like, a side project. I, I don't know. I just, like, met the guy in a, in a music store, and he was he was really good. He wasn't... I mean, he can play. He's a very technical player, but he also, you know, played a lot of good melodic and, you know, rhythmic stuff. Yeah, rhythmic. So I wanted to get him on board. Uh, and as far as the bassist goes, uh... Besides Adam, who's in Salina right now, I don't really know any bassists bassists here in the area. I could probably ask the uh, guitar player, see if his uh, bassist wants to come along. Uh, I don't really know how good uh, she is, so. We just basically need someone to kind of hold down, you know, the four string area, so I'm not really too, too particular, as long as they're not like god awful or whatever. I got several names for the band lined up. I don't really want to divulge into any of them just to like get your hopes up or whatever about, you know, having a band be named this when I change it to something else. Yeah, it's, it, it sounded kind of nasty, but it's... But yeah, basically I just uh, don't want to divulge into any names because A, I don't want them stolen. B, I don't know if we'll like stick with any of the names. You know, they may have something else that's pretty cool too. You know, C, I don't want to, you know, label this new band as... <laughs> and then later on have it changed to something else just because I think that's kind of annoying when bands do that. Unless it's like a proto name that you just throw out there just so that way people know who you are. Yeah, then that's okay, I guess. I'm looking forward to starting up this band. Um, I may even add like a fifth member or something. I'm kind of tinkering with that idea, throwing in like a like a keyboardist or whoever. I would be uh, initially just, you know, singing in the band just because I don't right now have the gear to uh, play, especially not play live. Because, <laughs> you know, my amp's just not any good. The one electric guitar that I do have left, the uh, the K Les Paul copy, is uh, you can't even really turn it up that loud before it starts wildly feedbacking. So I gotta gotta get that fixed too. So I think after uh, I get the Viper, I'm next gonna I'm gonna be saving up next to uh, get some new stuff for it. I think I'll get uh, two new pickups, some new uh, pots for them, tone and volume, a uh, new bridge. Yeah, I already said new tuners. I think we should be good to go after that. Um, the neck does... It's an older guitar. It's about as old as I am. Maybe even older. I'm not really sure. It obviously does need some actual, like, work. Maybe I'll get it, like, set up after I get all the upgrades and put them in and all that fun stuff. So, who knows. Um, yeah, this vlog's getting kind of long. So, uh, this is the Andy San. Signing off for now. You guys have an excellent 4th of July. And, uh, try to blow off your fingers. Alright? Later.